So if any of you are doing websites for clients or using a virtual assistant, you're going to need to document various procedures and processes. Now, like YouTube, I like using video, but many times, whether it be particular clients or for more complicated subjects, having a PDF that people can reference back is ideal. But the problem is, is that PDFs with photos and arrows pointing to things and, and boxes around things, it takes a long time to create. I mean, literally, it could take me longer to create a manual for a website than it takes me to actually build the website. And it doesn't matter if you're using a Mac and you're using Pages or you're using uh, Word in a document or using Google Drive. It all It's all very, very time consuming. Luckily, I found a tool that has made that process that much easier. So today, I want to show you a software called Stepshot Guides. And below this video, you will find a link to that software to try out on their free trial. So Stepshot Guides is kind of like screen capture software like a Camtasia or a ScreenFlow, but it's designed to create PDFs instead of creating videos. So let's go head on over to the computer and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are at the Stepshot uh, website, and if you want to go ahead, uh, and there's a there's a link below with uh, a link to a free trial, and when you sign up for it, there's going to be uh, an application that you will install, it's both for Mac as well as for Windows, um, and they'll have a tour you can take. But for the most part, I just do a, a new guide, and here's where it started to chart with and for the most part you're going to use this button here which is capturing the process so instead of me trying to explain everything it'd be better off if i just go through the process and let you see what this is all about so let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to capture the process And you'll see what this does. When I do this very quick video here. And this should just be enough just to explain to you what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And what you're going to see is it's going to create, every time you click on the screen, it actually will create a screenshot. And so down here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And so what I would also do just so you can understand as well. Like, so this first screen, I don't necessarily like because uh, it doesn't show me typing in the, the URL. So we can come over here and I can replace the image from a screenshot. And I can literally take a screenshot here, hit enter, and it will replace that option. And then what I can do is I can change this here, right? Next one, we're going to go over here. I'm going to, you can see I've already, and I can add in an arrow here and some text that says click here for posts. And what I'm going to do is, Text edit, I'm gonna make that red, and I'm gonna make this bigger, and, right? And so what I have is I can annotate wherever I need to. I can make a circle here. I can even blur out where I need to. I can do sequences, blur. So if I want to blur that out and hide some things in here, I can do that as well. And I can just go through this entire process making changes. I don't like that there. 
I can delete it. I can add it in here. And the great thing is, is go to login at, if you go to your website.com front slash WP admin, hit enter, it will take you to the login screen. And you can see here we can I'll just copy from Lord Mimsum. We can add it in here. Step two. Step three. So and we can go through this entire process and it's it's pretty flexible in what you can do. And then what we can do when we are ready is we can export and publish. And we have three options. As a PDF, you can actually have it log into your WordPress site and it will uh, create a post for you as well as export images. But I'm just going to use it as this. I'm going to change all this here. You can add in your logo. Next. And next. And I'm just going to do this as a basic. And I'm going to publish. And like that, we now have our steps to go through. It's a heck of a lot easier than trying to do that with Word or Pages or Google Drive. And as you can see, in a matter of minutes, we have a step and walkthrough that we can do. This is, this is fantastic. This has saved me hours of creating manuals for some of my customers. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, go ahead and, and click the link below um, and let me know what you're using to document your process. If there's a different software, different platform you like, because I'm sure others would love to know. So thanks for watching and somewhere on the screen there's going to be a subscribe button. I recommend that you click that button be notified for anything that I'm doing on here and I will see you in the next video.